So, good morning all of you. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss an applications of biot solvat law. Okay, application of biot solvat law. So, here by using biot solvat law, we can easily find the magnetic field produced by a wire which carries a current I. Okay, so this is my question. Uh, find the magnetic field uh, at distance S. Yes. So, this is my distance S. Yes. Okay, at a distance S yes, from a long straight wire carrying a steady current I. So, this is a my uh, long uh, straight wire which carries a current I. So, here my aim is, so what is the magnetic field at a point P at a distance S yes, from this current wire. Okay. So, we know that the biot solvent law gives an expression to, uh, for a uh, moving current which produces a magnetic field that is B is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi integration of, uh, so I current I into integration of dl cross r cap divided by r square. So, using this expression we can easily calculate the magnitude of the magnetic, magnetic field which produced by this long current y. Okay. So, next, so, so first we have to find the value of dl cross r cap and r square. So, dl cross r cap, so this is dl vector and this is r cap direction, this is r uh, vector uh, which, which gives the direction from the length element current element this, this dl is a current element dl current element to magnetic field where you are calculating the uh, field the point where you are calculating the field so the dl cross cross r cap which gives dl so this is uh, our length element is dl dash small element um, represented with dl dash so dl dash into sin theta into r cap this r cap is a unit vector the magnitude of r cap is unit vector is 1 so i am going not writing here so next dl dash sin theta and this dl dash sin theta can also be written as dl dash cos theta so if this is theta if this is alpha so sorry so this is dl alpha okay so dl or alpha okay dl dash and r cap which makes a which gives a cross product so okay so this dl uh, sin alpha which is equal to dl cos theta how because see from this diagram see if this is alpha definitely this will be 90 minus alpha uh, sorry 180 minus alpha so it gives 180 degree right so if this is alpha definitely this will be 180 minus alpha okay so in our diagram it will be like this so this is alpha this is 180 minus alpha so sin alpha is equal to sin 180 minus alpha which is equal to see uh, if this is 180 minus alpha which gives opposite sin theta means opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite means yes hypotenuse means r so s by r okay next so and again cos theta if you take cos theta which gives adjacent by hypotenuse so s by r so we can easily replace the sin alpha into a cos theta because sin alpha gives s by r and cos theta gives s by r so i'm going to write here uh, dl dash sin alpha is equal to dl dash cos theta okay next so from this diagram see tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to we know that opposite divided by adjacent so you can write this as l dash divided by adjacent means yes okay next so which is equal to l dash is equal to s into tan theta so take this as equation number one next differentiate this uh, equation with respect to theta so here our variable is dl is a variable and also theta is also variable so differentiate with respect to theta then you will get dl dash is equal to s is a constant a point where you are calculating the magnetic field is constant so s into differentiation of tan theta gives secant square theta into d theta okay so dl dash can be replaced into s secant square theta into d theta but secant square theta means 1 by cos square theta so you can replace this as dl dash is equal to s divided by cos square theta into d theta 
so take this as equation number 2 and this is our main equation number a so put this equation 1 and 2 in equation number a so then we will get b is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi integration okay and see our dl dash r cap can be replaced into dl sin alpha and this dl sin alpha can be replaced into dl cos theta so just write here dl dash cos theta divided by r square okay and the next so mu naught i divided by 4 pi into dl dash means so this in equation number 2 so we have dl dash dl dash is equal to s by cos square theta into d theta so integration of dl dash means s square sorry s divided by cos square theta into d theta okay next uh, okay so cos square theta so cos theta into d theta okay next see uh, from the diagram we can also write cos theta is equal to is equal, so here uh, r square is also have to write r square so still have to write 1 by r square value okay so from the diagram we know that cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse right so that means s divided by r so next therefore 1 by r is equal to cos theta divided by s and 1 by r square is equal to cos square theta divided by s square so now put this 1 by r square value in that given equation so in that uh, uh, equation so then you will get mu naught i divided by 4 pi integration so s cos theta d theta divided by cos square theta and that 1 by r square means cos square theta divided by s square okay so uh, so this 1 by r square means cos square theta cos square theta divided by uh, s square into d, d theta okay so next so b is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi integration uh, cos square theta and cos square theta gets cancelled and s and s square gets cancelled remaining is 1 by s is a constant i am going to take that outside so 1 by s mu naught i divided by 4 pi s into integration of that cos theta into d theta okay so uh, if the limits is from theta 1 to theta 2 so here the limits is from we are calculating from theta we are varying from theta 1 to some theta 2 uh, some lower limit to upper limit okay so if suppose if my wire is an infinite wire okay if uh, suppose this y so this is an expression to calculate uh, uh, the magnetic field for a wire which carries a current and after after integrating this we will get b is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi s into so integration of cos theta which gives sin theta after applying limit lower limit and upper limit we will get sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1 so this is an expression used to calculate a magnetic field due to a current which uh, due to a uh, wire which carries a current i okay this is the magnetic field so this formula definitely will helps to calculate the current uh, magnetic field produced by a moving current okay next so if suppose our wire is uh, very large means almost up, up to infinity if it is a long wire so then for this infinite wire for if infinite line theta 1 is always minus pi by 2 and theta 2 is plus pi by 2 okay 
if this is my theta 1 and if this is my theta 2 for thin wire if theta 1 is minus pi by 2 and theta 2 is plus pi by 2 next so if you substitute here in this equation so then you will get b is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi mu naught i divided by 4 pi s into sin theta 2 means pi by 2 minus sin minus pi by 2 ok next since since sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta so this expression which gives mu you know, b mu na b is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi s into sin pi by 2 means 1 so sin of minus theta minus sin theta minus into minus plus again sin pi by 2 is 1 so which gives 2 mu naught i divided by 4 pi s and 2 4 it just cancel the remaining therefore b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi s okay so this is an expression which is used to calculate the magnetic field for a thin wire or infinite wire that is b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi s okay so here our dl is dl dash is current element and here r is position vector and here s is the position where you are calculating the magnetic field ok so the magnitude of the magnetic field which is produced due to this current carrying wire is b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi s ok